हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कोट प्रवाह आई होप यू ऑल विल बी डूइंग वेरी गुड सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेक एन इंटरेस्टिंग प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज क्यू आर कोड जनरेटर विच यू कैन शो केस इन योर रेज्यूमे और पोर्टफोलियो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी फर्दर टाइम लेट्स क्विकली मूव ऑन टू वी एस कोड वेर आई हैव क्रिएटेड वन प्रोजेक्ट विद द नेम ऑफ क्यू आर कोड जनरेटर एंड हियर इन एप डॉट जे एस आई एम रेंडरिंग वन एच वन टैग विद QR code generator which you can see it here so what is the plan the plan is that i'll create one input box and a button and when you enter some text into that input box and when you click on the button let's say it's generate button and when you click on it the QR code should be displayed according to the content you added into the text box so let's add one div with the class name of inputs and inside this inputs div I'm going to create one input which is going to accept a text and below this input box I'll create one button with the text of generate you can see it's rendering here one more thing I would like to add to my QR code that a freedom to change the color of QR code so I'm going to create another div with the class name of color wrapper and inside this div I'm going to create another input but the type of this input will be color so it will give me one color picker where i can pick any color of my choice and before this color picker i am going to add one text to help the users that it will change the color of their qr code so i'll say change qr code color fine it's rendering but i'm not happy with the designs so i'll quickly move to my css file that is app.css and first thing first i'll change the background color to a little bit of lighter grayish then i have to work on this inputs div so i'll select it let me move my app.css here nice and then i'm going to add some css to my inputs class where i want the display type to be flex and then i want to align these items into the center from horizontal and vertical as well and then i want a little gap between the input box and this generate button so i'll say gap to be 15 pixels fine it's good for me let's work on this input part so i can select the input which is inside this inputs class div and i'll give it a height of 30 pixels and width of 200 pixels okay it's good for me and then i want a border radius of let's say 10 pixels but i don't want these kind of darky border so i'll say border 1 pixel solid and a lighter gray color that is 987 it's looking fine but i want a little bit of padding from right and left to make my text coming into a little bit of center so i'll say padding verticals to be 0 and horizontally i want let's say 10 pixels so yeah it's fine and also i want to increase the font size so i'll say font size of 16 pixel which is fine for me also when i click on this input box you can see there is a blue color of border which is exactly the outline so i'll say i don't want any outline so outline should be none now you can see there is no any outline and the background color is not matching with the background color of body so i'll simply say background color and you can inherit from your parent and it is inheriting as the background color what we provided into the body fine i am happy with the input let's work on this button i'll say height of 30 pixels and width of let's say 90 pixel and also i'll set the border radius what we set for the input so i'll say 10 pixels and again i don't want this bulky black border so i'll say border 1 pixel solid and again some lighter color for the border also because it's a button i want to use the pointer type of cursor here and the background color i want to change it to a little bit of orange color also i want to create some hover effect so i'll say that whenever i hover on my button give it a box shadow So you can see I'm hovering on it and there is a box shadow which is appearing which is good for me. Then we have to work on this color wrapper. So you can see I have given one class name of color wrapper. 
so I'm going to work on this. I want both of them to be in line, so I'll set display flex, and then I want them into center, so I'm going to set justify content to center and align items to center as well. But again, I want gap between them, so I'll say gap of 20 pixel will be fine for me. But it's sticking into the top content, so I would like to add a vertical margin, so I'll say give it a vertical margin of 20 pixel, but horizontally let's give it a zero. Okay, we are done with CSS. There is no more CSS to write. So let's move on to app.js file. So as you can see, we have two inputs here, but they are not controlled. So I'm going to make them as a controlled input. So I'm going to import use state from React library and I'll create one state for the first input of text and I'll say input data obviously one set a function for this that is set input data and i'll say initially it would be empty string similarly for the color i'll say qr color and setter function that is set qr color and initially it will be let's say black color so my qr code will be black color initially and let's attach these states with these inputs to control over them so i'll say the value will be input data and in case of change i would say i'll get the event i'm going to set my input data to event dot target dot value so this is how i can set my data into the input data state and i'm reading it back into the input state so let's try it's working for me then similarly i'm going to change its value to QR color and of course on the change of the color I'll receive one event and I'm going to set the QR color this time to event dot target dot value where we will get the color so if I just select some color you can see it's changing but when I refresh my page it's the black color which we assigned it as a default color into the initial state fine we are good with it so I'm going into my source directory. I'm going to create one folder with the name of components. Now inside this components, I'm going to create one component, which will be our QR code generator. So I have create one function component with the name of QR code generator. Let's import it here. That is QR code generator. And I'm going to use it just below this color picker div and I'll say QR code generator so you can see it's rendering here but in actual we have to render a QR code here so in order to generate a QR code I'm going to use one library and that is react QR code I'm simply going to copy it from here and I'll stop my react project and I paste whatever I have copied that is npm install react QR code and it's installing and installation has been done so I'll start back my project and it has been started again so i'll be quickly importing that qr code from the react qr code library and i'll remove this text that is qr code generator and i'm going to render my qr code component here this component has few properties which you can read here and i'm going to simply pass few properties such as style where i'll define the height and width i want for this QR code so I'll say height and width to be 256 pixel and then I need to assign some value for now let's say it is test so you can see one QR code has been generated but if you see the background color of my application is not matching with the background color of this QR code so I'll go to my CSS I'll simply copy the color from the body tag and here I can assign one property that is BG color and I'll paste it here. So you can see now the color difference has been disappeared. So now let's work on the generation of QR code based on the text received in this input box. So I'll go back to my app.js component and I have a button which is currently having no functionality. So before adding the functionality, I'll create one more state. I'll say QR data. And of course, one setter function that is set QR data and initially it's going to be an empty string. Also, I'm going to create one function that is on QR generate. So this function will be invoked 
when you actually want to generate the QR code, the first check I want to apply that if input data is empty, then I don't want to do anything. I'll simply return out of this function. But if the input data is containing some content, I'm going to set my QR data to input data. Now my QR data is containing the actual data for which I want to generate my QR code and the QR code generation is happening into QR code generator component. So obviously I need to pass the data into QR code generator component. So let's say I want to pass my data from here and the actual data which I want is the QR data. I am passing this data. Let's grab the data into QR code generator component. And now instead of this test dummy data, I'm going to pass this actual data, which is coming from its parent that is app.jsx. So now what will happen? It will get the data from its parent. So let's bind this function with this button. So I can say on click event, I have to call this on QR generate function and let's give it a try. I want to generate one QR code for ABC. And if I click on this generate button, you see the data of QR has been changed. And at this time, the QR code has been ready. And if you scan with the phone to this QR code, you will get ABC out of your phone. But there is one more functionality I want to add that I want to change the color of QR code based on this color. So as you can see, I have already one state that is QR color. So I need to pass this state to my QR code generator component. So I'm going to simply pass it from here. And again, similar to data, I'm going to grab QR color into my QR code generator component. And there is a property in QR code library that I can pass foreground color. And here I'm going to pass the QR color. So if you see, I can change the color of this QR code in real time. It's changing. It's working for me. I'm going to copy some link from here and I'm going to paste it, which is of course the YouTube URL for code Prava and I'm going to click on generate and you can see it has been generated. And one thing you can notice here, the more complex the data will be, the more dense your QR code will be. So this QR code is containing this information. I want to change the color maybe to a little reddish type. And at this time I'm going to grab my phone and I'll attach this phone's video in this video. So you can see I'm scanning this QR code on my phone and it's landing me onto the YouTube page of code Prava. So you can see it's working fine as we expected. At this point of time, you can also try with your phone. If you scan this QR code, you will be landing to code Prava YouTube page. Now at this time, if you are really on code Prava YouTube page, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because more interesting projects are coming on the way. There is one more change I would like to do that if you see, if I reload this page, there is a by default QR code, which is just being generated because of that empty string we put here into the app.js file. So what I'll do, I'm going to render it conditionally. I'll put a condition here that if data is there, then render this QR code. And if the data is not there, just render one paragraph and say enter data and click on generate button. So if you see, if I reload this page, you can see there's information which is being passed that you have to enter the data and then click on generate button. And now if I click something here and if I generate, you can see a QR code has been generated. If you really have some curiosity about some project that how to make it. And if you really want me to make videos on that, ping that project name into the comment section and I will definitely look into that. So if you really learn from this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe code Prava. Thanks for watching.